What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the vlog. What oh did my I gosh. See that yelling? What are we doing today? Um, we're putting on front grill on my Jenny, diffuser, and rubber bands. And? And oil change. What I think I'm gonna do actually, instead of me putting them on, jeez, this thing's so freaking long. Instead of me putting them on, what I'm gonna. Say it, my body. I'm gonna teach her how to do it and show her the ropes. And that should make for some pretty dope content. You hear when I say that? Yeah, because you're oh. not supposed to tell your YouTubers that. Apparently, I. She hates everything. Oh my god. She hates everything. Okay, I do. Can, do you want me to fold that one? I'm just trying to help you become a better vlogger. You're not helping, and I'm trying to get my shoesies on. Nice burnout. All right, stop, stop, stop. We gotta put your bumper off. So these here are the point of the quick release bumpers and we're replacing these ones today. Can you pipe your hood? We're replacing these, they're supposed to be black, but as you can see they're freaking faded and purple. So we're gonna replace those today with nice new black ones. Huh? There's a bird stuck in our fire stove. No he's not, he's still up top. Babe, get out of the car, come on, we gotta get stuff done. Bobby is doing everything today on her car herself. Yeah or no? Take your bumper off. You've done it before? I have? Yeah. Babe, just don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just a bird. It's, oh my gosh, it's coming out. No, it's not. It's stuck. Yeah, it's Can you turn the hand? <laughs> 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 it's gonna be in here forever now. It's just a bird, <laughs> babe, it's. It's us. No, it's not. Here, I'll open this back door too. Right. Are you happy now that your bird's gone? Yeah, that's really cool. All right, time to remove the bumper. All these right here? Pull those out. Look at this little mechanic at work. So you take them out like that much, and then you can just pull it out the rest oh. of them. That is the current grill on the car. As you can see, it's a little broken right there, and it's freaking ugly. Oh no, we're not gonna have your badge anymore. What? Yeah. Can we take off? Can we take this badge off? That'd be ugly, I think. And this is the new carbon fiber, and that will look sick. All right, now pop it off. I am professional with my Genesis. See this little tab right here? Yeah. It's kind of clipped in there, so lift up here. I did, I tried. Good job, now just tug on it and it's all clipped in. Mm -hmm. Can I do this out here? Yeah. You can't, can you not do it? No, I can. Oh, I broke the grill some more. Oh no. Unplug the foggy lights, please. You wanna pull it up on the ramp? Yeah, I'll pull it up if you direct me. I'm not very good at directing. So the first thing we're gonna do is change the oil. It's much needed on the car. It's been a while since we changed it. A little more. The freaking loud ass intake. You're good. So because we have the bumper off right now, we are gonna change the grill and we're gonna change out these quick release bumper band things. So Bobby's gonna do everything today. Mm. I'll teach her how to do it. I, I already know how. <laughs> Thank you. You wanna explain to them what you're gonna do? Uh, What I'm gonna do is take out all these little screws. So all these screws right here, what is that rated like six? On the back side of the grill, she's gonna pull out. And then the new grill, the carbon fiber one doesn't have a place to screw in down here or up here. It doesn't have these holes. So we're gonna have to drill these holes to attach it to the car, unfortunately. That's I can't touch. What'd you do? <laughs> I literally, it literally just crusted apart. No, it was already broken, it's cracked. Oh, okay. There's like little clips here that we're gonna remove and then the grill will fall right off the bumper. Yay. Okay, you do that. Old grill versus new grill. What's better? Mm, new grill. I think the old one looks better. It's a little <laughs> warped. <laughs> Look at the left hand side compared to the right. The left hand? <laughs> this hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we got the grill off. We got to swap these ugly things out right here. Okay. To get to the back side, we got to drop that feather liner. Now grab your new one. Bam, done. So we're gonna do that on all four. So there's one on that right there, one on the other fender, and then two, one on each side of the bumper. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Good old, good old mobile one. Okay, the oil change is done. The bumper quick releases are done. And now it's time to put the bumper on, so I'm gonna have Bobby do that again, because it's so easy. The last time I plugged this thing in, I did like... Put the bumper on, and then I don't think she really wants to drill into the grill, so I'll probably do that, yeah. And then we're gonna throw the grill on, and then we can do the diffuser, and the diffuser should look pretty good on there. But I feel like you're gonna need some sort of side screw, something or another. Look at you, a little mechanic, you just know it all. <laughs> My fingers are frozen. I got it. Or do you not lift enough? Ow! Ah. 
Got him. It just hurt. I know that freaking hurts. It's like 18 degrees outside. All right, Real time. Let me go plop it on up on there. All right, we got everything on the car. Diffusers on. Looking pretty good. She almost ripped it coming out of the shop. She almost ripped it off. But look at that fat ass. Mhm. Mm Matches your butt. Exactly. <laughs> Not. <laughs> just kidding. You got a pretty big butt too, I suppose. Thanks. I feel like the front of the car now just looks a little sandy. Yeah, the back looks really good, but that front lift is like faded and needs to be sprayed out. Got the new carbon grill on. It, that grill is a pain in the ass to get on. You like overall though? Looks good? Yes, I think it all looks really good. I think it's pretty sick. You're You're welcome. The best. Nuts. You gotta get that thumbnail? Yeah, kind of angle it in. There you go. Now come out and let's grab that thumbnail. My car out to be next to Bobby's so they can get some more photos. But wow, look at these things. They look the same. It does. I'm kidding. All right, so we've got the Genesis all wrapped up. It turned out pretty sick. I love how the diffuser looks on that car. The grill was kind of a pain in the ass to get on. Nothing really lined up, but we got it to work. So I'll kind of show you guys what I'm working with right now with the whole bit online business thing I got going on. I kind of explained it in a few videos ago that I'm redoing all my inventory and just updating all my inventory. So this, I'm in the back room right now. This is the inventory room. This is where I store everything on all these shelves right here. So everything here, I got a few empty shelves down there, but all this is just full of I sell motorcycle parts. So that's what I do. I sell all this stuff on eBay. So what I do, I'm bringing everything from out there into here. This is where I take all the photos with my light boxes or these soft boxes here. Um, it actually works a lot better if there's no light coming from outside because I have super bright white lights in there. And then coming here, this is my office. And I put everything on eBay using garage sale. So this is all my inventory, for example. Let's take a bike right here. This is like a, I don't know if you guys are into motorcycles much, but here's a YZ450F. Here is all of the inventory I have left off that bike. I did it a while ago. Been going through updating photos, updating what the part fits, so the interchange or the compatibility of it. And then it goes back on eBay. So I'm doing that with everything I have which is probably about 800 pieces total. Let me go check. It's about 800 pieces total, so it's gonna take a while, guys. I'm gonna take a little break for like today. I did a little bit this morning after I got done with Bobby's car, but now we're gonna go jump in the shop and work on the FRS. So as you guys know, I have two of those tire leaks. I really wanna get that completely fixed today. I don't wanna have any more issues with those tires. I hate airing them up. So let's go jump into the shop and see what we can figure out. So we got the damn Forester. There's actually somebody that wants to trade is the 06 WRX with 70,000 miles or 75,000 miles on it for the Forester, but that WRX is salvage title and he wants a couple grand on top. So I don't know if I want to do it. If I did it, I would just get it and sell it. It might be worth a little bit more. I don't really know. I think it's worth about the same. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Should I get that WRX? I wouldn't build it. I wouldn't do anything to it. The only thing I would do is just pick it up and then try to resell it which it might be kind of a pain in the ass with the salvage title. But anyways, let's pull these wheels off. I'm just gonna be smart and check tire pressures so I don't pull the wrong wheels off. And I'm running these, I forget what I had them at, like 45 PSI. Which is kind of a lot, I could probably drop it down, but. 48, wow. Let's run like 40 PSI in these things. The reason I'm running a good amount more, I'd usually run like 32 PSI on a normal car, or it depends what it is, but these are so freaking stretched that I want to run a little bit more PSI. That is why, guys. Oh, check this out. Look at that wrap down there. I need to fix that. What actually happened, hold up, hold up, hold up. So what actually happened with that wrap is when I was doing the panels themselves, I kind of stretched it around the outside where you can see it is like peeling off. And with all the gravel that is on the roads right now, or there's still some, I know they sweeped like some roads, but there's still a lot of gravel on the roads. It like sandblasted that wrap off because it was so stretched around the corner. And I fixed one side. Is that side right there? Just to test it. And that one's been holding up fine. So I just gotta do the other three. So what I'm gonna do is cut it around this edge right here and then just run a new panel in there and it won't be stretched at all. And because your the seam is around the edge, you won't be able to see that seam at all. I just want to see how to figure out where your wheel or tire is leaking at. Spray some soapy water in there. It's right there, right on that bulge. So, 
Spray some soapy water in there and it's kind of hard to see on camera, but right in there you can see it bubbling out. You see that guys? That is where that one's leaking and that little bulge in the tire in the sidewall is right here. So this tire is shot because it's on the sidewall. That's why I had to order a new one to replace it. And like I said, I think this one is leaking where the barrel and the lip meet right in the center of the wheel. So it's not a tire issue here. That would be my fault from not sealing it properly. Let's try to figure out this tire leak. I'm gonna hose this thing off and figure it out and let you guys know what I figure out. Hell yeah guys, I am super stoked. I found it because of this tire leak and thankfully it's not my issue. That makes me super happy. All it is, this valve stem right here, see how soapy it is around there? So I think I'm gonna tighten that up and that should fix the issue. If not, then I think there's a seal somewhere. I, I hope it's not on the inside of the wheel. So go tighten that up and see if that fixes this freaking tire leak. We fixed it guys, just like that. That's why we should always try to figure out the easy route first. That would have been a pain in the ass if I went and pulled the tire off and it was just that valve stem the whole time that was loose. That would have pissed me the fuck off. Now we just have that one to get the tire replaced on and this thing will be good to drive as soon as we get a diffuser on there. All right, let's go get this pile of shit fixed. Oh, okay. Definitely not carrying that the whole way. The good thing I haven't sold the Forester yet is I need it. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey, bud. Ready to cut another tire, bro? It's gonna be a while, but yeah, I can. So this place is super freaking busy right now, and they don't have time to do it right now, so I'm leaving it here. I don't like leaving my wheels and tires with people, but they're too busy to do it right now, so it'll be done by Monday. Today is like Friday, they're closed Saturday, so I'll be back Monday to grab it, I guess. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this little vlog right here, guys. Nothing else I can do on the car as of right now. I think I'm just gonna run home, throw a stock wheel and tire on it, and then I'll push it to the front of the shop. So that should be easy enough. So I'm gonna end this little vlog here. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button right up in that corner. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next vlog.